Giroud, all start. These two in Group I with Finland, Belarus and Spain. Finland and Spain kicking off shortly. As things stand, Spain have 11 points from their five played and the French have 10 from their five played. Finland have six, Georgia have four, and there is the home boss to Murray Ketsbayer. There is UEFA's Champions League Player of the Year, Frank Ribéry, part of an attacking-looking lineup for the French tonight. Plenty of quality on the bench too, even with a couple having pulled out of the squad. Only 13 European nations will be at Brazil next summer. Nine group winners through automatically, the best eight group runners-up playoff for four places, so one second-place nation won't even make it to the playoffs. France are desperate to make sure it is not them that misses out. So here we go, Georgia, FIFA ranked 98, hosting France. Now officially, would you believe, the 23rd best nation it's a bit of a drop for Georgia, that, since the last standings. It's a continuing trend, unfortunately, from a French point of view, that they could be down as low as that. Not all that long ago, they were winning everything in sight. Restricted viewing for some fans, unfortunately, who've got a little bit too excited early on here. No one in that stand's going to be seeing the early parts of this game. A little something extra to take on board for the Turkish officials. Mikhail Meski Stadium also known as Locomotive Stadium because Locomotive Tbilisi play here it's Georgia's second biggest arena it'll be hosting the Super Cup in 2015 after UEFA decided to move from Monaco and turn that particular showpiece into a road show but that's for the future the here and now is Georgia versus France in World Cup qualification group I The expectation is an away win, but you never know what you're going to get with France. Here's Laurent Koscielny of Arsenal, and then little Mathieu Valbuena. He's been a favourite of Didier Deschamps at club level with Marseille, and now the national side too. Shelney's ball. Here is Jano Ananidze. Always a bit of a buzz when he gets it. Just pushed it a bit too far in front of him. And Shelney was very cool in defending. Well, Buena finds no place past Grigalava. Giroud in the middle, Benzema on the ball. Good ball from Valbuena, this is Bakary Sanya up from right back. Sissoko of Newcastle United plenty of competition for places in central midfield without there being real standout candidates for the French they have a, a whole bunch of them Okriashvili back doing the defending
Shelney and Sanya next to each other tonight, as they are at club level for Arsenal, of course. It's Sissoko again. Winner's ball way over hit. Still gets the thumbs up for the intent from Frank Ribery. Eric Abedal will be 34 next week. Back involved in the international fold after some long-term and very well-documented health issues. Throw from Lobjanidze was a bit of a waste of time. It'll give Hugo Lloris, French captain, the first touch of the night. Long-range shot with a deflection on it. Comes in from Sissoko, comfortably gathered by Georgie Loria. Hometown certainly for him, Tbilisi, but not home club. Quite the opposite. He's a Dinamo Tbilisi player as opposed to the locomotive variety that play here. Okriashvili holding off his man, but giving it straight to Koscielny. Olivier Giroud has started the season very well for Arsenal. A lot of talk about whether they would sign a striker during the transfer window that's just passed. They didn't. He will remain the main man up front for them. But what he will have is a little bit extra supply given the arrival of Mesut Ozil. The club record feat. Can only be good for a centre forward to have that kind of quality behind you. And Aurora here is. Another kid say, just for a moment, looked like he'd broken in between the lines. Just slipped, and then that allowed Everett in. But Ever also fouled the home skipper, Yarbo Kankova. Kidze takes. Looks like that's going behind for a corner. It is. Bakary Sanya can't get there in time. Decent start this from the home side. Who did actually start this qualification campaign with, well, very nearly a wonderful result. They got 86 minutes of a clean sheet against Spain before finally folding on opening night and lost 1 0. It's a reminder that they've got something about them. Yano Ananidze. Takes the corner. Plays in Russia for Rostov. That's his cross. First time. That's all he could do, really, but he sliced it.
goes Rivery. Good cross. Valbuena couldn't quite pull it down. First burst from Frank Rivery out wide, and it looked pretty good, didn't it? A couple of goals in qualifying. Frank Ribery, including one against Georgia last time back in France. Here comes the corner. Ribery kept it in. Past Ananidze and past Lobjanidze as well. Coming in on the shot is Gilavogi. New name in the French setup, just a fourth cap for him. Atletico Madrid midfielder. Here goes Kovacidze. And then completely wasted by Galashvili. Made nothing of it. Wasn't really under a great deal of pressure. Valbuena to Evra. A lot of left back options. Eric Abidal could play there. Del Clichy's on the bench. It's Evra who is the incumbent note. 50th cap for him tonight. Patrice Evra of Manchester United. Here's Gilabogi again. Sanya making the run. And he's been picked out well. Easy handling for Loria. Charged down, well charged down too by the skipper Kankava. Georgia coming into this off the back of a 1 0 friendly defeat to Kazakhstan, hardly a deal preparation. French drew their August friendly with Belgium. Lost a lot of friendlies actually during this campaign though to all sorts of opponents Uruguay, Japan, Germany, Brazil. Uh, in this group, they've done all right. Not least thanks to a very important, potentially crucial draw away to Spain. The 94th minute equaliser that night from Olivier Giroud. They've beaten the Finns, beat Belarus. They won 3 1 against Georgia earlier this year and lost the reverse fixture to Spain 1 0. They're only a point behind Spain, though who've been less than their usual perfect selves. Started well here tonight, France, though. After a, a couple of good minutes for the Georgians early on, France just started to assert themselves. Rivery unfairly so on that occasion. Here's the tensions on Yalba Kankova. A little too fierce. Ananidze did well to keep it in. Here's Grigalova. Now Alex Samisulashvili plays it. Has Nadal. It's a fine challenge that from Musa Sissoko. Benzema has Ribery to his left. Ribery has eyes for goal though and fires it. Very nearly in as well. A few fans who thought it was. Loria couldn't be sure. The side netting it is. A week ago in Prague, Frank Ribery scored a goal very similar to that for Bayern Munich in the Super Cup victory over Chelsea. A little bit further out. Went for the near post that time too. The difference is this one was the wrong side of the post from his point of view. Twelve international goals, this his 75th cap. Looking busy already. Okriashvili did enough to win the free kick. To 
has shown his infringement. Georgia getting on with it. Kankava, lovely ball, all the flags gone up, but I tell you what, it must have been tight. Nico Galashvili wanted that reverse ball, and he got it. How close was it? A yard or two off. Those French defenders, just for a second, looked worried and thought they'd got their timing off, but they hadn't. Abidal out to Evra. Frustration on the touchline for Tamiri gets by it. Another pass goes astray. Done a pretty decent job. Started very well. Coming up four years in charge now, though. And have to deal with Ribery somehow tonight. Easier said than done. It may be impossible. Well, that cross was, again, too close to Loria. He was brilliant, Loria against Belarus in their opening game. Kept a clean sheet and a win to start this campaign for Georgia. And that late loss to the Spanish, done so well to dig in and keep them out for 86 minutes till Soldado scored. Across here, way too deep for Yano and Anidze. Georgia then, Drew 1-1 away to Finland, lost 2-0 at Belarus. That was the big one to Murray Ketz by it. So disappointed with. France away in March ended in a 3-1 defeat. After this, they're at home to the Finns and they finish away to Spain. So, realistically, for Georgia, third place would be a prize of sorts. As things stand, a couple of points behind Finland in that regard. Sanya to Valpoina. Ribery back to Sanya. Ribery swat flanks, he's just come over to this near side. Valbuena's uh, gone infield. Kids, he thought he got a bit of the ball then. To say, I think he might have done. Crossing's been a problem for both sides so far tonight. That's another wayward one this time from Patrice Evra. He's still in pole position to be Manchester United's left back. A lot of talk about Leighton Baines of Everton, Fabio Cantrao of Real Madrid, but neither of them ended up coming in that window. So Evra. You'd imagine will uh, keep his place for the season more or less there. Let's go back kids there again. Not a good ball. It was behind Cashia. It was dealt with tidily enough. And no flag here. And it is. They thought he was in for a moment. It looked like he might have been until Sanya got there. Uh, and Anelise was the target of that cross as well. What a volley. That is coming in out of absolutely nowhere from Yaga Kankova. That is some strike. It must have looked good when he hit it, and from probably three-quarters of this stadium's point of view. That's a one-in-a-million volley. 
It's pretty impressive technique even to get that close. It's the sort of strike everybody dreams of flying into the top corner. Flew into the hoardings instead. Can Carver now down? But not injured. Bumped off by Giroud and the ball hit him in the face. No goals in Helsinki. Between the Finns and the Spanish yet. Sanya to Balbuena. again Nick touched that from Giroud Evra plenty of blue shirts up here but Evra can't find any of them we'll have to settle for the throw Lavogi just opened up for a moment. His long legs got him there. Sanya. Balbuena, whose legs must be about the shortest on this pitch. Still got a good crossing though. It's just over Olivier Giroud. Evra. Benzema. Ribery stopped to call for a handball rather than playing to the whistle. Now he's getting back and defending. Because Alex Kobekidze is off again. Evra's back, though. Musa Sissoko. Tenth cap for the Newcastle midfielder tonight. Poor ball from Valbuena. This is why Rivery was shouting for handball. He's certainly got a case, hasn't he? a long way away from the body even if it was close range meanwhile up the other end Del Ashville has been fouled the attentions of Koscielny a little too close Give himself a red card on opening day Lauren Koscielny the English Premier League season aside from that in the ban he started the season well Getting the rave reviews that started coming for him after a tough start. But uh, they started coming for him last season. So regular back there now. Didier Deschamps, clearly a fan. Evra gets it back from Ribéry. It is dispossessed by the very solid Kankava. Good luck knocking him off the ball. Up the line it goes from Uchilov Janidze. With the Dnipro defender. And once again, Galashvili has infringed. France getting on with it. Okriashvili. Foul. is Akaki Kabuchia, another who plays in Russia. As you'd expect, there's a fair few Jordans that do. But just about half the squad play their club football here in Georgia.
with Bakary Sanya. Past the halfway mark of the first half. An untimely slip there for Okriashvili. And as Valbuena to spread the play. Lavogi finds Sanya. Valbuena says it should be a corner. And the assistant agrees. On, 25th cap tonight for Mathieu Valbuena. In comes his corner, it's a super delivery. And it's a wonderful chance for Joshua Gilavogi. Climbed well, got above Lobzhenitz, and, uh, well, having done that, possibly could have done better, but it was quite a melee in there. Any kind of more solid touch than that, you fancy it probably would be 1-0, just a glancing blow in the end. Bonus flick has almost caused Sanya a problem. He was just about quick enough to get it. Sissoko. Here goes Ribery again. All of a sudden there are three white shirts around him and one of them, Yaba Kankava, has pinched it. Very nearly set Galashvili off there. Eric Abidal just got the leg out there and got a toe to the ball. It was a bold decision. If he'd missed it, Galashvili was away. It's his foul now, though. Get away from him that time. He just got his heels clipped instead. Delayed reaction to go down, but it was certainly a foul. George's free kick, 25 played. Done OK so far. Locals are getting noisy again. Alex Kovacidze, the Dnipro forward over the free kick. He who scored against France in March. A little bit too far out for a shot this time, but it's not a bad delivery. Headed out. Opiashvili on the turn, has the shot. And the second shot, huge deflection on it. And that was heading in. Loris had to divert himself. He was going one way, then he had to go the other. Good handling from the French skipper. Olivier Giroud knocked it past the Kaki Kabuchia and was upended by him. He might be going in the book too here. He always looked worse at pace. He stuck out the leg. The ball had already gone. I think he knows what's coming next. No question, Giroud knew it was coming and played for it. That doesn't make it any less of a foul. position ball to aim at right in the mix and another couple of others just hanging back waiting for the loose ball he's gonna have to wait to take it our Turkish referee making himself very clear indeed whatever language 
here it comes then, the valve winner free kick. Wasn't really worth the wait, was it? Easily headed out by Kank Carver. Sanya smashes it back, and then Benzema goes for goal. Gave it the big wind-up, got plenty behind it, but hit it straight at Georgie Loria. Ribery. Trying to up the ante, goes for goal himself. And a good block coming in this time by Gia Grigalova. Another Val Buena corner. That's missed everybody. Lobzhenidze gets a clearance in of sorts, but only as far as Patrice Evra. Super challenge going in. Mokrias really. Evra just wants to get on with it. Try and make something from this head of stin that the French are building up here. Wonderful footwork from Okriashvili though, and Alex Kobzakidze is off and running again. He's looked as bright as anyone so far. Georgia haven't really been able to get Yananidze in the game, but he's on the ball now. Neatly done. And then Okriashvili looked like he was upended. No, 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 says our Turkish official who was to be ahead of him, right on top of it. Good decision. Tornike or Kriashvili was very much looking for that one, having essentially lost the ball. Giroud has won that header well. Kankova. And Kashia. Nice one too. The crowd like that. Gilashvili on the chase, but Avidal, 34 next week or not, has still got the pace. And the experience to know where to be positioned even when you don't have the pace, that's half the battle. Decent game, this. Get even if we have a goal, but of it out there. Georgia going for it, perhaps a little more than one might have expected pre-match. The previous World Cup qualification campaign was pretty disastrous. So we have another look at that Benzema shot. Real Madrid centre forward. You might expect him to. Get that a bit nearer a corner than that. It's Georgia's last World Cup qualification campaign. Three draws, three points from 30. Hector Cooper, no less, had to go after that. Actually had a few famous names in charge of the Georgian national team. Alain Jures, a French legend. Plus top model as well. One of their own, and Timuri gets by now. That looked like a foul, and indeed it has been given. And nudge on Bakary Sanya, another French free kick in a dangerous position. Grigalova just couldn't help himself sticking a leg out a couple of times. Just that bit too keen to win the ball when it wasn't really there to be won. up again, so to Michelle, Olivier Giroud just lurking, He's picked up now by Kabuccia, and it comes again from Valbuena, sooner or later you feel one of those is going to find a French head, but that one didn't, clear by Uccello Janitze, the furthest man forward, Gilashvili, Having a bit of a lone chase, as he has had for most of the evening. Not been too bad in getting up in support of him, but he'll need a bit more than that if Georgia are to pinch something here. Look at the space Valbuena's picked up here. Lovely little position in between the lines, but he 
rather fluffed his lines with the shot, got right underneath it. Looks down, would like to blame the pitch. I don't think we're going to give him that excuse. It's just way off target from Mathieu Valbuena. Not a bad international scoring record. He scored five times in his 24 prior to tonight. Of course, the last French World Cup campaign was disastrous in its own way, wasn't it? In fighting of 2010 under Raymond Dominic. French didn't even get out of the group, which is part of the reason why they're ranked as low as they are nowadays. They were actually 27th in September of that year, they're 23rd now. But that is why also they're in pot two for qualification here. You might wonder why Spain and France are in the same group. It's because the French are not the force they once were. And the likes of Croatia and Greece and Norway were pot one sides in this original qualification draw. And you think France not even in that company, technically speaking. Ribery is certainly welcome in any company. It's his foul there. Ball taken on the chest by Galashvili, but Moussa Sissoko was just uh, waiting there to take it off his toes, and he's still carrying it well here. Gilavogi has Valbuena in support. Right in front of a concern looking to Murray gets by. Alanidze chasing Valbuena back, and then the no-nonsense challenge coming in from Gia Grigalova. Very much George's first choice left back. In fact, or back four it is nowadays Zura Kizanishvili, the veteran legend, is still part of the squad, but he's more a substitute these days, and he is indeed on the bench tonight. Valbuena forward. Giroud couldn't make it stick, a little bit sloppy. And not for the first time. It's a neat bit of footwork that from Okliashvili. until he passed it out of play. Complaining that he didn't have any help. Sanya. Rivery's come to the right again. He's found that his opposite number seven, Kankova, stuck with him well. Didier Deschamps trying something to pull this very well-organised Georgian defence around. A popular and obvious choice to replace Laurent Blanc, Didier Deschamps won everything as a player and has won plenty as a boss as well here's Evra the header is more up than out and it's out now Okrias really the big clearance Sissoko looked like he was taken out there and Okrias really is going to go in the book They always look worse at pace. Sissoko was diving into it, has to be said. Well, he's not had too much to do so far, Georgie Loria. 37 and a half minutes in, I should think that man there, Didier Deschamps, is the more concerned. Especially now that Spain are winning away to Finland. Spain, remember, coming into the night a point ahead of France. So as things stand, maybe three points ahead of France.
Valbuena again on set piece duty. Loria got there with a pair of fists and got plenty of contact on it. Benzema. Seen very little of him so far. Ribery. Again, just can't shake off Yaba Kankova. And they're loving his performance, the locals here. So just captain getting stuck in. And largely getting stuck into front Ribery. Do well to get to keep up that sort of intensity for 90 minutes, but uh, so far, job well done. And another lovely drop of the shoulder from Okriashvili. Koba Kidze slipped and the ball was behind him. He's done his best to win it back, but he failed, and Sissoko now comes ranging forward. Ben Slows things down a little, not for the first time tonight, Karim Benzema. Here he is again, and again. Showed too much of that to Kasia. Just under six minutes to the break. No goals in Tbilisi. And the mistake has allowed Grigala in here. It's those sort of opportunities that Georgia will have to take advantage of. A French lapse, allowing him in down the left. Had a man to pick out in the middle, it was nowhere near him. All it takes is one good cross. And the shot would be on. 40 played. Valbuena has drifted past Ananidze. Now Sanya with the cross. Valbuena again. It's so much of the ball, Matthew Valbuena like another free kick he's not going to get it Kankava is everywhere tonight it's not just sticking to Ribery it did in fairness to Valbuena look at if he got clipped then right in front of the assistant as well not given France get caught like that, thinking here we go, upfield in numbers. Just have moments, fleeting moments like that one then where one good pass from the Georgians could make all the difference. It's a decent French bench in the middle there, Andre Pierre Gignac, the forward. Everett down the line. Rivery trying to turn it into a better ball than it was by closing down. Here comes Lobzhenidze. Flags up. Sloppy from Nico Galashvili. The Karabag forward. It's the third time that's happened. Fouled, Benzema fouling. This first half is rather petering out. Yeah. 
not stayed in, I think it has, you know, just the spin of the ball allowed Grigala for the chance. But just again, an overly heavy pass. Just when there was a sniff that something might happen, and Tamuri gets by is growing frustrated with it. He played in the very first organised match for a Georgian 11, 22 years ago. Former Soviet state, of course, Georgia. They got their official footballing independence in 1992. First attempt at qualifying for a tournament was for Euro 96, and they did rather well with Tamari Ketsbar in the side. They won five times in that qualification campaign. If you're racking your brains to ever think if they have made a tournament, the answer is they haven't. And the front foot here, though, with Ananigze. Three white shirts with him. Cover kids, eh? It's just another one of those moments and it keeps happening. They're just a whisker away from being very promising. In a minute, someone's going to get that key pass right. And the French might be in trouble. 30 seconds left of the first half in Tbilisi. No one's in trouble yet. But with Spain winning in Finland... It is certainly a concern for France. On the presumption the Spanish do win that, if Georgia, it's a big if, but if Georgia could find a win here, they'd go third in the group. There'd only be three points off France with the same games played. We're well, right on 45, no time for anything additional. We didn't have an injury. So I suppose that's fair enough. We didn't have any goals either. Ribery's had his odd moment, but not a lot to do for either keeper. In Tbilisi at the break, it's Georgia nil, France nil. Separating France and Georgia at the moment. The hosts have been very organised at the back. But for a couple of final balls, might have created a problem or two for Hugo Lloris. As it is, he's only had to make one save of any real look. The French skipper on the other end, Georgi Lloria. He got himself behind a forceful strike from Benzema. Ribery's looked lively. But really, this is a game that needs a goal and hasn't shown too many signs of getting one. With Spain leading 1-0 in Finland in a game that kicked off just after this one. The French will know that they need to win this game to keep hot on the heels of the reigning champs at just about every level, the Spanish. They're one point behind them at kickoff tonight, so they're three points behind them as things stand now, but there are 45 to go. Georgia held on for 86 minutes against Spain on opening night in this group. Looked like uh, opening night for Spain. It was Georgia's second game, but it looked like they were going to get a valuable point there away. But, uh, conceded late on. They've held out here with far less drama, it has to be said. France have looked a little short of ideas. Generally been a case of get it to Valbuena and Ribery and hope they do something. Not seen much of either centre forward. Here's one of them, Benzema. Ribery taking over. He can make something happen at any minute. And he's got it through to Valpuena here. Sanya. Cleared by Ami Sulashvili.
plays for Krasnodar. Ali Sulashvili's played all over Russia and the Ukraine. A lot of clubs, a lot of signing on fees. Here's Albuena. Musa Sissoko. Cross nowhere near the target that was Benzema. Very little so far, Benzema, and he's let that one run away from him as well. Oh, bueno, looking for options in front of him. There weren't any. Sissoko takes over. Sanya now. Kept in check by Yano Ananidze. France have been to 13 World Cups. They won it, of course, on home soil in 98. Runs up in 06 to Italy and twice third place, but they didn't get out of the group last time. Awful campaign. All sorts going on behind the scenes in South Africa three years ago. Gignac amongst the French subs warming up there. Wouldn't be surprised to see him. Sulashvili, the free kick, more French subs warming up, that was Sami and Nasri there. Good cover, hits a go. And he's offloaded it, it's a great chance, it must be! It's off the post from Ophiashvili, who had two bites at it. And really, you'd have to say, both of them were very good chances. You don't usually get an immediate reprieve, he did, and he blew it. Georgia should be in front. By some distance, the clearest chance in this game. Great work from Alex Kovakidze down the right. A little improvised cross because he didn't have time for the back left. We'll get another look at that in a moment. Georgia buoyed by that, coming again now. Here's Okriashvili. What a chance for him twice over. Kankavar, the captain, was excellent in the first half. Now Kashia. Little scoop over the top for cover Kitty, and he's fluffed his lines too. Flags up anyway. He'll be relieved given the air shot he managed to produce. And offside he was, albeit only just. Real scare for France there. Loris got in the way of the first. Here's another look at it then. Cover kids eight. Round the side. There's first effort. Only spilled out by Hugo Loris. This second chance though was a wonderful one. Off the upright and out. A huge sigh of relief for the French. They haven't had to do too much defending tonight. They should be behind. No question about it. Okriash really knows it. Should have been his second international goal. Georgia have a free kick. Maybe a day shot looks that little bit more concerned than he looked in the first half. Gilashvili has won that one fairly softly. And France 
was just a little bit rattled early in the second half here. There's still no goals in Tbilisi. You can hear the home fans now for sure, big time. Got the kids there with the free kick. Oh, it's weak. Didn't even make it into the box. Terrible delivery. Real waste. What a chance for Tornikeo Kriashvili. It's one of those you feel like you might be thinking back to it at the end the night when France have managed to get the win that people presume they will get it's one of those isn't it you think if he'd taken that who knows but he didn't fine margins nice touch that from River Evra wants it back gets it back Gelashvili didn't know much about it, but his mere presence was enough to halt the charge of Patrice Evra. Fiftieth cap tonight for Patrice Evra. It's a very adventurous run. Long throw from Mugzanice, and a good one too, to Ophiashvili. The back heel less impressive, Gilashvili says, why didn't you give it to me simply to my feet? He's got a point. Laurent Cochelm to Mathieu Valbuena out to Bakary Sanya Sissoko Valbuena again promising that's a better ball in towards Giroud Gilabogi given away He's done that much tonight the new Atletico Madrid man 10 million euros took him there a few days ago right at the end of the window from San Etienne He'd been since he was a early teenager. 14, he joined San Etienne. Not an association with them, but playing in Spain now. Sank. Upended and dispossessed. And Anidze is given back to Soko. He's done really well until that pass, which was a shocker. Straight to Kankova. It's a good open game, this. Galashvili running at Evra and he's passed in Galashvili and he's gone for goal as well from that angle that was ambitious at best did have support in the middle do well to beat any top class keeper from there Hugo Lloris is very much a top class keeper Valbuena, great sliding challenge coming in from Guran Kasia. He's there again. No one there for the cross. Michelob Zelidze got the call to let it run. Start away again. Not a million miles from here in Belarus on Tuesday night. Finish it home to Finland. 
Ribery with the ball in. Sulashvili, right place, right time. Not a complete absence of French strikers in the middle, but it wasn't far off. Here's Valbuena. Cross is charged down. Kabakidze clears. Days in international football, even the lower ranked sides like Georgia, who are remembered 98th in the world, have enough organization about them that you can't just turn up and give the ball to Frank Ribery and hope that he'll do something. It's a bit more craft than that. The French have really not produced it yet, but here is Ribery, who can produce something out of nothing. The ball into Benzema, and a handball by Benzema. Here's another look at the standout chance of the night. Loris, to his credit, came flying out for that rebound that really did narrow the angle. Andreas really knew he almost had to slice one past him, which is what he tried. But for a little bit too much spin on that ball, well, the post and out again. Grigalashvili is about to come on for Georgia, but Tamuri gets by, says, not just yet. It's Kankaba. Dogliashvili, and now Kilashvili. Getting away again, though. Abidal, the ball forward for Benzema. And then Gilavogi finds Sanya. That's a better cross. Oh, Karim Benzema will expect to do a lot better with that kind of quality ball into him. He was unchallenged here. Still a fair distance out, but even so, you'd expect a player of his calibre to do rather better than that, at least somewhere vaguely near the target. That was miles away from Benzema. Looked on his game at all tonight. And after an awful lot of running, Alex Kobakidze is off to be replaced by Helguya Ligalashvili. Kobakidze has looked bright. One can only presume that that amount of galloping he's been doing has taken its toll on the legs because he's pretty dangerous, as dangerous as anyone actually from George's point of view. of disappointing crosses, there's another. Frank Ribery beats his man comfortably enough. The ball in wasn't good. And perhaps Benzema's night is done. There is Andre Pierre Gignac. This time, maybe not. <laughs> the 
messages coming now. Benzema looks across and sees his number is up, and I don't think that's a surprise at all. Andre Pierre Gignac of Marseille comes on, brought on by the manager who signed him. Toulouse, Didier Deschamps was Marseille boss when Gignac was bought three years ago. He's on here for his 17th cap, and hoping to find his fifth goal. Didier Deschamps won't care who it comes from, as long as it does come. We've played over an hour, a third of the game left. And France not really looking like troubling Gloria at all. Plenty of time left, of course, but even so, they've... Uh, and the par tonight, for sure. Spain still leading by the narrowest of margins, 1-0 in Finland. Three points ahead of the French. This thing stand right now in Group I. <laughs> Solid but fair challenge, our Turkish referee says Giroud was not found, that the ball was won. Play goes on. Galashvili gets his head on it, but no one's looking for the second ball in a white shirt. Anyway, Giroud is fine. Nothing wrong with that challenge from Kankabo, who's put them in all night. He's been absolutely superb, the Georgian skipper. Can't knock him off the ball, and he wins his fair share. 50-50s and 40-60s. Pushed back by Lozhenidze. Nowhere to go but backwards. Well worth their point, you'd say, Georgia. But doesn't mean they're going to get it. France have always got the extra quality. And they make it count. Sanya's cross in towards Giroud. That near post run that he likes to make, just darting across his man. Well, he tried to dart across. Man, but Kaki Kabuchia stayed with him and got the touch in. It's a super bit of defending that. A bueno over the corner. Should be Lloris. Good distance on the punch again. And Anidze might need a bit of help. Or at least do it himself. He is going to do it himself. And listen to the roar as he comes forward. He has to put the brakes on because he knew he wasn't going to beat Sanya in a flat race like that. He wanted to go forward, didn't he? He could see the frustration that he had nowhere to go with the pass. He's got it back on his feet now. And here is Grigalashvili, the substitute, into the box and winning the corner. But this is a very even game now. off and running now he's going over to a more leisurely pace to take this Georgia corner and the noise levels increase here in Tbilisi twenty five to go they're in this well in it and Anidze's ball in headed out by Giroud come back into the mix by Lobzhenidze a waste of time with Ananidze so far offside, having taken the corner. <laughs> Lovely flick from Okriashvili. Dirigalashvili was all on his own. Sissoko won the ball. Credit to the Turkish referee there, Fida Aydinus. He was right up with play. But given the pace of the breakaway, it was uh, quite an achievement on his part. Ball up towards Giroud. He's frustrated. Didier Deschamps frustrated. 
France in general have been very frustrated by a superbly organized Georgian back line, but they haven't just entirely sat in. They tried that against Spain, as I mentioned earlier, nearly did it. Well, that night really was uh, an 86 minute rear guard action. Tonight, they've had a little bit of a threat on the counter themselves. Happy to send a couple more bodies forward when needed. Here's Everett. And ever again. Great chance to pick out a teammate in the middle. That could go anywhere. It's been cleared. Just fell for a moment there for Gignac. Back in by Sanya. Loria comes with the fists again. And it's not much of a shot from that. Joshua Ilavogui at the end of it. It's a rare promising moment in attack for the French there. Everest cross just in between Valbuena and Gignac. Marseille players still nearly worked out for them via Grigalova's touch that's Tagamadze we're about to see David Tagamadze goal scoring midfielder neatly done that by Ribery Another look at the nearly moment for the French. That's a bit enough of that for Didier Deschamps to applaud. Yano Ananidze. The playmaker is off. Togamadze on in his place. Approaching the final 20, Bakary Sanya with the cross, Yaba Kankava. First with the header out, then the flying block. At this moment, he nailed on for man of the match, Yaba Kankava. The Midfield skipper of the Georgians. But it might not be him who has the deciding touch. Could be Zignac, it nearly fell from there. And look who's there again. Honestly, I'm beginning to think two of him out there. Kankava somehow pitched up in between right back and centre half when he'd just been left midfield a few moments ago. Rivery's cross. There is definitely only one number seven out there for Georgia. Is Sanya. Evra, good chance, not taken. All Giroud could do was just try and stick out a leg and divert it goalwards. No blame attached there. You'd have to say Patrice Evra, even though goal scoring is not really his bag, probably should have got this shot better off. And is nowhere near. Giroud's actually done very well to even turn it that close to goal. And back in his own goal, Hugo Lloris with the face. And who knows that his side aren't doing enough here. Into the final 20 minutes. Anybody's game. It's out! Play is out! Play is out! Oh, Buena. Sissoko tries to fire one in at Gignac. Oh, Buena will get another go. This Grigalashvili skips away from both of the long-legged French holding midfielders, which is uh, no mean feat. Pilavogui and Soko, a couple of physical specimens in there, but uh, the neat way that Grigalashvili got away from them. Timuru gets by, is getting more and more animated as this game goes on. That was him screaming in a moment ago, you might have heard.
49 caps himself for Georgia. Second top scorer, actually. Interesting there, though. Obviously, their international history is barely a generation old, but even so, not bad for a midfielder. Shota Arbaladze is top. Lavogi. Now Valbuena. Up towards Ribery. Looked like his touch, and indeed it was. George's goal kick. It's just not happening for France, is it? We're seeing here why they're down at 23 in the world and why they were in pot two of the seeds in the qualification draw. generation was special all right now he really has struggled to replace them struggled here tonight to Blisi and had the man on the floor there Tornike Okriashvili finished the clearest sighting of goal that either side has had in this game Georgia might even be winning Promising position, and with Kovacidze off and Ananidze off, the substitute David Targamadze is assuming duties on the set plays. That's a good delivery. The flexion could have gone anywhere. Targamadze is going to close it down. Cassia sliding in. It's been such a wholehearted performance, this, from the Georgians. You'd feel very sorry for them if they befell uh, what happened to them out in Spain early on in this campaign. Uh, it's always a possibility. Players like Ribery on show, here he is. The sense France just want to get him the ball and hope that he does something. That might be enough, it might not. More good work from our Kriashvili. That must be the third time this game he's put it through Gilavogi's legs. He'll probably get taken out soon enough. So much a man could take. Here's Targamadze. He's quicker than Sanya. Good ball as well for our Kriashvili. Challenge got the ball. Once again, the Turkish referee, Mr. Aydinus, was right up with play. Full marks for fitness. These Georgian fans believe you can hear it. The time they get going, anywhere near the uh, French half, but they're on the back foot now. Ribery into Giroud. This is promising, but it's scuffed wide. Giroud has two goals in qualifying, one against Georgia when they last met. Look at his frustration there. The other was a huge one potentially in the group, the 94th minute equaliser away to Spain. Samir Nasri is about to come on for the French here. Second change on the way from Didier Deschamps. Doesn't look overly frantic, does he, Didier Deschamps? Hands in pockets, pretty calm, but he won't be enjoying the scoreline, that's for sure. will be dealing with if they can catch him. Yeah. 
Martin, enough of France's main man. Nasri still waits to come on. Play is underway again. Thank goodness for that. 13 minutes of the 90 left. So probably 16 or so for Georgia to hold out for what would be a very well-received draw. Or indeed, pitch a win, you'd have to say. Really be against the run of play, would it? It's Galashvili taking on Sanya. Targa Madze now with two for company. Michelle and Sissoko have made it work. In Finland, Jordi Alba's goal is keeping Spain one ahead of the Finns. Pidavogi's night is done. Didier Deschamps can no longer afford to have two deep lying midfielders in there. So Sissoko will do the mopping up in front of the defence now, and Sami Nasri is sent on to add a little bit of something to the attack, which has been rather off tonight, it has to be said. Georgia making their own change, their third. With uh, Gulashvili coming off, the furthest forward man, the centre-forward, to be replaced by... Vlad Valishvili, the Legia Warsaw player in Poland. Valbuena, neatly done, exchanging the ball with Frank Ribery. Valbuena's got it back. Evra's up again. Expect to see him in the advanced positions in the latter stages as France go for the win. There are of that. There was. Evra's been caught as he crossed it. France will have a corner, but their left back is down here. Just here. Fairly innocuous. Ribery. Nasri on the edge of the box, maybe caught a bit cold, he barely got a boot lace on that one. Sliced across for a throw at the other end and we're into the final ten minutes into Blisi. Targamati. George's throw. Loria's long clearance. Just a bit too long, although Gavashvili was uh, on it just in case. Substitute has just come on. Koscielny going down at touch of a feather there. Whatever happened to big strong centre halves? Here's Ribery. Gignac will try and turn it into something. Well, he's got that, but uh, it's only to the benefit of Gio Grigala. Valbuena. Gignac has stayed wide. That'll do. 
as far as the French are concerned. They don't look overly pumped up, though, do they? They don't look like a nation desperate to grab this, say, winner. Might well be a winner coming this late in the game. Valbuena's corner. Joba Zignac, Giroud got a piece of it. Regalova's header wasn't a good one, it went backwards. And then Koscielny went over. And again, the moment has passed, but they just haven't created much, have they, to trouble Georgi Loria. A couple of half-decent saves in the first half, and that's about it. I'm sure he would have expected a much busier night than this. Sissoko's header twice over, and beaten to the third. Okriash Billy with the back heel, he clearly likes those, he must have tried it four or five times tonight. Seven minutes to play, anyone's game here. Georgia may just get caught upfield here, Sissoko, he'd managed to get the ball off. But Giroud couldn't keep hold of it, and now Misulashvili goes back to Loria. Valbuena. Ribéry. Ribéry again, it's opened up for him here. Beaten out by Loria. He got everything behind that, Frank Ribéry. But it was straight at the Georgian keeper. The first clear side of goal for him in this second half. Just finally got away from his man which he hasn't been able to do all night long six minutes to go France doing their best to up the ante here's Valbuena now, curls one towards the far post and it's a catch for the cameras this time from Georgia's number one but he deserves that this is the time that Spain broke Georgian hearts at the start of qualifying. Got themselves an 86th minute goal to win 1 0. Georgia play like this at home to the Finns next month and away to Belarus. They've got every chance of finishing third in this group, you'd have to say. Rivery's cross. Gignac. First touch got away from him. Second opened up the possibility again. But he didn't have time for a third. Valbuena. And the uh, Turkish referee wanted to play an advantage there, but in the end, I think the second or third attempt to trip Valbuena has brought the free kick. And it is a free kick in a very tasty position here. Just the merest clip from the back, I think. Not from Kunkava on the side, but from... Uh, Grigalashvili, who was behind him. Into the final five. Didier Deschamps needs someone to produce something out of the ordinary, which is something that France have not managed this evening at any point, but this is handily placed, and they have plenty forward. And as we try and pick someone out, we'll go for goal got the lasers out of his eyes. Could be a key moment. Nazri's ball in. Oh, what a chance for Laura Koscielny. Not quite a free header seven yards out, but it almost was. And he had to do better than that. Just got a glancing head on it. Anything more meaty than that, surely it would have been 1-0. What a chance. He's gone begging. Eyes to the heavens again. It's not looking like France's night.
Shankava doing a rare bit of attacking that time. He might have left his uh, colleague still at the back. Ribery on the chase. Lobjanidze is there too. France have another corner. Only now are they playing with any urgency. Taking them until the 84th minute to really start putting the pressure on. It's another good fist away from Loria. Sanya to Nazri. The teammates at Arsenal. Abidal to Mathieu Valbuena. Ribéry. Philly's done well there. Here he is again. George's ball. A little bit of a respite there for them as we go into the 89th minute of this game. Here's another look at the Ribery strike a moment ago. If it had been anywhere but straight to Loria, you fancy it would have had enough movement and pace on it to make it 1-0. A bit down, a bit up, a bit left, a bit right, any of them, but straight there, it was savable. See how much this means to Tamuri gets by it. If he had any hair, he'd be tearing it out. I feel like he might rip his shirt off any moment. He's, of course, a, a man who, as a player, of course, once gave the advertising hoardings a good booting after he scored a goal for Newcastle United in England. Surely a foul and off the Ashville, it is. And he's won Georgia a free kick. Bang on 89 minutes here. In an area of the field from which you would think they can threaten. I'm sure they'll take the time about it. And it comes from Tagamadze. Away it goes. Just as quickly as Gignac doing the defending there, the centre forward, and it's back at the feet of Loria, all the way back. Four added minutes will be added on here. Not sure why, we have had some substitutions, but uh, I don't think we've seen a physio in the whole game. Valbuena. Bakary Sanyu. Again, Sanya again, France being patient, time is short for them. Abidal, Nasri. The Georgians have so many bodies up the middle there, it's very tight and compact and congested. And I feel France will have to take it wide unless there's going to be a mistake in the middle, but no one's showing any signs of switching off from the Georgian perspective yet to do an awful lot of defending now. It just turned on, you probably would have thought it would have been this way throughout. It absolutely has not. It's only been in the last five or six minutes that the French have upped the urgency levels, and they must be in here. They are in. Giroud is thwarted by Loria. And you can't help feeling it's not going to be their night. Three header at the back post. There is that little bit of switching off. France getting on with it. Ribery's cross. Sanya's header, kept out again by Loria. One or two of the French players suggesting it might have crossed the line. I don't think any of them are doing it with any conviction, though. And uh, players being stopped here. Bakary Sanya, the least likely of all goal-scoring sources with the header. Pushed onto the post by Laurie, no question. None of the ball got over the line then, let alone all of it. That is a standout chance of the night for Giroud, for sure. Scored a, a couple of big qualifying goals, including one against Georgia. He probably should have had another there.
Well, if Didier Deschamps' side had played with this kind of urgency any earlier on on the night, they probably would have won this game. They still might, of course, we'll have at least another couple of minutes. There's no way it, any defence could cope with this kind of battering over a sustained hour and a half, but uh, five or ten minutes might be able to hold out. They have done so far, the Georgians. And that's clear too. Winning that second ball. Ogliashvili in the mix. They might even pitch one on the break themselves. Here's Tvashvili. Only a couple to aim at, but Togamadze has made that one his. Goodbye, Evra. The Georgians have a throw. Murray gets by he's actually waving one or two of his own players back that would suggest that he will take this as a very good point game which it will be could yet pinch it Patrice Everett was a player with plenty to say for himself he didn't like that call can Georgia pinch it Final seconds of additional time. Ogliashvili's cross. Hugo Lloris with a big out of mind. He wants to get on with it. And Fred Skipper releases it. Long and downfield. That's a slip from Amin Sulashvili. Might not be a costly one, though. Targamadze here. Might as well go for goal. Ogliashvili. Targamadze now. Cross comes to Soko. There's Abidal. Will there be time for any more? Tamiri gets by, says, where's the whistle? Not yet, it's not. Long ball up, and there's no flag. And there's no goal on the end of it either. It might have been a nudge on Giroud. He's not complaining. The Turkish referee is not pointing to the spot. But any second now, I think he'll be blowing his whistle. There was the slightest of touches from Grigalova. You take your life into your own hands when you do that. But I think it was Laurier's ball anyway. French free kick. That ought to do it. And you can hear from the noise around the Locomotive Stadium here in Tbilisi what they think. To say Georgia have merely held on would be unfair. They might well have won it themselves this group I game the fact that the French haven't won means that they are now more than likely destined to finish in a playoff place behind Spain they went for it all right France but only in the last 10 minutes before that well below par and they could easily have been beaten as it is it's all square in Tbilisi Georgia nil France nil